Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is in your place right now, I hope that you're having a good one. So anyways, today's video is going to be about me teaching you how to gain access to your PLDT's full admin account. I mean, some of the reasons why you might actually want to like access the PLDT super admin account is because you want to like enable the LAN ports 2, 3, and 4 because right now the LAN port is you can only use only the first port, LAN 1. And of course you like have four ports there, so you might as well just enable them all and then make use of the whole router, right? There are also other settings there, I mean if you're like me, who's usually the type of guy that likes to experiment with stuff, especially when you're gaming and then sometimes your internet is constricted by all these tight settings and you just want to loosen them up, you might want to like access the surprising account if you're so, enough talking and let's go to the computer. Okay, so right here on the computer, what we're going to do is open up the browser, type in this right here, 192.168.1.1 forward slash FH, and then press enter. As you can see right here, we have the login screen for PLDT Home Fiber. And right over here, we are going to click admin. And then type in a password right here. One, two, three, four. I guess one, two, three, four. And then click log in. So as you can see right here, click OK. As you can see right here, we have this page that's showing us that it wants us to change the password from the default one. So we're going to change it. Right here we have the old password, type in the old password, 1234. New password, you're going to type in whatever you want it to be, like that. So we have here two SSD names, uh, one for the 2.4 and one for the 5G. So right over here, type in the password you want. And then over here, same thing, password. Okay, and then click apply. So right here, as you can see, it says a network change was detected and you were disconnected from the Wi-Fi. And here is the name of the new Wi-Fi that you created and it is now connecting and we are connected. So after you connected to the Wi-Fi, what you're going to do is go right back into the browser, type in 192.168.1.1 slash fh and click enter and then as you can see we are back here on the login page and then we are going to enable the super admin so to enable that we are going to click this right here control c paste it there it's a lot of characters and letters control c control v and then click log in. As you can see right here, we have management, right? So what we're going to do is go here to the bug switch. Uh, click web admin switch right here. Enable and press apply. And I usually also enable this one and then press apply. So after we are done with this, we are going to log out like so. Okay, so after logging out from this account right here, we are going to see this login page again. And what we're going to do next is go to the top part and then edit it, remove the login.html and change it to FH. And as you can see right here, it says username, right? Once you click enter, it will change into administrator, like so. And then we are going to log in this third account right here. It says admin PLDT. Control C, Control V, and copy this one. Control C, Control V. Click log in, and we are now logged in again. So you're going to do the same steps that we did over here on the first account, but this time this is the admin account. This is the real admin account. Uh, we are going to paste in the old password, the one we copied from here, paste it over here, 
and then type in the new password that you want to put. So I'm going to put mine. So after entering your old password here that you copied from here, we're going to put in your new password. Like so and click apply. As you can see right here, it says access successful. And then you click back. And as you can see, we are back here again in the login page. And what we're going to do is type in admin PLDT and the password that we typed in earlier. So there it goes. Click log in. And here it is. Okay, so once you logged in to the admin account, what we're going to do next is go to network, go to broadband settings. And as you can see right here, LAN 2, 3, and 4 are not checked. So what we're going to do is check this, this, and this, and then click apply. So after checking these boxes right here and clicking apply, you can now connect your ethernet cables from your LAN 2, 3, and 4 over from the router to your computer or whatever you want it to be. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If I was able to help you enable your PLDT admin account, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and turn on the notification bell because it actually helps out the channel a lot. So, yeah, guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I upload videos like this, tech stuff, you know, vlogs and stuff, travel videos, everything that comes to mind. So if you're interested in any of those videos in the future, yeah, so give some love down there, subscribe. Thanks for watching. As always, don't hate, appreciate, bye.